Hi guys, welcome back to Kenny Fan TV again. Guys, it's been a good week. Ready for the preview, Wanga, Steve. The big boys in the Europe has done well this this, this week. <laughs> Arsenal, great win against PSG at home. Uh -huh. Then you had uh, Manchester City and Liverpool basically played two teams that you expected mm -hmm. them to win. Aston Villa had an amazing, amazing result against Bayern Munich at home. It's like the Europe has come back to them in a big way, back to Aston Villa. Yeah. And then Man United, of course, never failed to surprise <laughs> <laughs> us and give us some good entertainment. But uh, yeah. let's look forward to the games this week, uh, coming up from tomorrow. Um, let's start off first game, like first early kickoff from the big boys is going to be uh, Liverpool. Let me give that one to you, Steve. Well, what are you thinking about that Liverpool away to Crystal Palace? Guys, uh, sir, it's going. It's a, it's a good weekend. It's a good match week uh, seven. We're looking forward to having guys playing in the in the in the Euro, in the in the European uh, uh, leagues. It's quite uh, tiresome for them, I know, but it's a, a job. It's a job. They got they got to do it. So I'm expecting a very entertaining game from uh, Crystal Palace against uh, Liverpool. Mm -hmm. Uh, because for one, Crystal Palace will be playing in their in their home ground. That's that's one uh, advantage they have. But uh, looking to a Liverpool team that is really not in the club in the club era, the prime era of club. So they're still adjusting to slots, uh, new uh, tactics. They're not that bad, but they're trying to do the best they can because having them top the league at the moment that means a slot is not far is not far from the from the from the recipe that uh, club used to use to be in the in the top, so mm -hmm. I don't think uh, it's, it's gonna be expecting really much. But also, I'm expecting an, an entertaining match from uh, Crystal Palace and Liverpool, and uh, I'm also looking forward uh, to see more of uh, mm -hmm. our boy Aiden Ketia playing more in Crystal Palace. So I think I'm expecting an exciting match. <clears throat> an early kickoff is always a bad omen, <laughs> as I always <laughs> call it. So. Uh, if, 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 if I would say entertaining match and uh, if the person I'm looking forward to see play is uh, Edin Ketia. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, we got you down for a Liverpool win then. <laughs> no, no, no. Not a Liverpool win. I'll I say, I'll say uh, probably uh, best case scenario this game, this game should be a draw. Oh, it's, uh, okay. It's, yeah, it should be a, should be a draw. Uh, if, if, if there's a winner, then I, then I believe that is Liverpool. But the best case scenario from this game I can say a draw, but if there's a win, that would be Liverpool. But the best case scenario outcome from this yeah. game, I expect a draw. All right. Uh, Wanga, next one we go, we'll bring up to you. We'll give you the Manchester City. Manchester City at home to Fulham. Yeah. They had that big away win in the Champions League. Uh, they just seem to be rolling on. What are you expecting about this? Is Fulham, can Fulham come and do something? Uh, I think uh, Manchester City uh, needed a response and they did it uh, in the Champions League, uh, winning uh, against a, a team, you know, everybody expected them to. Uh, I think they need to, you know, get back to the league. Uh, they managed to get a draw at uh, Newcastle, uh, which was a tough opponent playing uh, without their, uh, their midfielder, Rodri, without through injury. Uh, I think uh, Fulham have been entertaining this season. We've seen the way they've managed to, you know, get wins. Uh, their coach, uh, Michael Silva, who is doing superb. So I think uh, it won't be an easy win for Manchester City, who uh, are not doing well the way they used to. They'll be also without out without uh, Kevin De Bruyne, who is also out through injury. So I expect, you know, uh, to have an entertaining match full of goals, of course. And uh, Manchester City really need this win to get back to the title race, as far as it's concerned. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a bad bad on that one. Yeah. All right, yeah. Steve. Yeah, we'll save been, good, been, yeah, save yeah. a good one for you. Yeah. Huh? I think <laughs> if you're still on the Manchester City game, is that uh, yes, as as uh, Wanga has said, it's gonna be an expected uh, comeback from Manchester City from the previous. Uh, yeah. outcome they had in the Premier League, that is a draw yeah. against Arsenal and a, a draw against, uh, a late a, a draw for them <laughs> against Arsenal and a late draw for them <laughs> against uh, Newcastle United. Entertaining. So we expect a team like that, having going to play at the Etihad Stadium to come back from uh, their downfall, which I don't really call a downfall, it's just the, the tricky matches that they've been having. And also looking at the Fulham side this season, who have been very, very entertaining, playing good football. 
Uh, forgive me to use the Arsenal players' references because they've <laughs> been they've been the, in the club. They've made impact. We had Rhys Nelson score. We've had uh, Emil Pro score, and also give assists. Who are very key people in that Fulham? We have uh, we see the return of uh, I, I call him the pirate, <laughs> Raúl Jiménez. I call him the pirate with the, with his band the, on the on the side. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I see I see that Fulham team having confidence so far this season. Mm. I've seen a lot of confidence uh, coming from the team, the build up, and uh, having added the the likes of Smith Rowe from Arsenal. That kid is gonna get more play time in that team, and he has he has a lot to prove in that Fulham team. So I'm expecting a, a, a very a good fight from Manchester City. Manchester City are not going to take leave Fulham mm. <laughs> like kids in, on this game. You know what yeah. Fulham is, is capable of doing? And I'm sure Pep going into this match, I expect him, I'm expecting a Manchester City win. And uh, if not, actually I'm expecting a goal scoring uh, match in this game because uh, Fulham are always going on the attack, and uh, you can see the defense is not really that that good. And also, man, uh, they also have a good striking, so they can also they can also penetrate a few a few goals or even one to the Manchester net. So, uh, mm. I I am expecting a, a win for Manchester City because they 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 have they they've not have a good run in the in the Premier League the past two games, and we know the the quality that Man City has. We're expecting a comeback, having lost Rodri on injuries and. Uh, the imminent, uh, the the uncertainty of uh, KDB to play. I'm expecting a good uh, performance from uh, people like Foden who come back in the team, in the squad. We expect people like uh, Grealish to step up. We expect Savinho has been impressive <laughs> from the beginning of the season. Actually, I have I had my doubts of Savinho. I was like, whoa! So this guy is gonna sit, is gonna sit Foden on the bench. But I think it was a good signing for. For Manchester City, and I think uh, it's gonna it's gonna be a good game, and I expect a, a good fight for Manchester City. Yeah, it's gonna be should be should be that should be a game to watch out for. Then um, okay, then then I guess uh, you, you took that one on uh, Wanga Arsenal yeah. at home <laughs> to Southampton. Uh, you know Arsenal were impressive against PSG um, last weekend, as we were saying. They just about mm-hmm. survived that Leicester <laughs> the Leicester <laughs> late run. <laughs> and then, uh, what do you think? Southampton at home this time, coming to the Emirates, yeah. do you think it can be more straightforward or do you think it could be another, you know, kind of a surprise waiting for them? Yeah, I think uh, Arsenal coming off that win against PSG at home, uh, the 2 nil win is giving them confidence. And after surviving that late scare, as you said it, against uh, Leicester, everybody thought it was it would be an easy win for Arsenal. And, you know, Leicester almost pulled the rabbit out of the hole. But uh, Arsenal, I think, have learned their lesson. Moving forward uh, to Southampton, I think it will be an easy win. We've seen uh, Southampton struggling. Uh, we've seen Southampton struggling to get wins. They uh, they are you know winless so far this season. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think uh, it will be an easy win for Arsenal. We've seen Leandro Trossard doing you know well in this team. Gabriel Martinelli. Oh, easy wins in the Premier League, but go on, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Southampton are currently struggling, and okay. we've seen also, we've yeah. seen uh, what Arsenal did against PSG. PSG yeah. didn't even manage to you know. But uh, clearly, there's no, as you said, there's no easy game in the Premier League. I expect Southampton to at least, you know, go struggle, at least get a point. And we've seen Arsenal clearly are having the title race conversation. We saw what Saka said the, after the match against PSG, where he was asked, like, do you think this is the season? And he said, you know, we've been close the past two seasons, and I think this is it. So as far as the title race is concerned, I think uh, this will be a crucial match for Arsenal. And, it's, you know, as everybody says, the Arsenal boys are on fire and they're not going to drop point easily. Yeah. Personally, I don't personally I don't agree that he said that. You know, that's not the kind of stuff you say <laughs> after, after six games of the season, you know, and when, when the journalists get you those kind of questions, you just brush them aside and be like, Don't don't yeah. answer the question like that. We're, we're just game six of the week. Uh Stephen, like yeah. it's it's too early to be talking about title contention and, and all that stuff. Right now it's just trying to be consistent and and hang on to Manchester City's coattails. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think uh, having that game, uh, we, we're facing a Southampton, Southampton team that is uh, really not stable for one. But at the same time, I wouldn't really write off Southampton because I think they're yet to get the they yet to get their grip. Because if you look at the previous six matches of this season, they 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 were they were beaten by Newcastle one 0 in the in the opener match, which was. Uh, 
even if Newcastle had the red card, it was yeah, one yeah. nil against uh, Newcastle, one nil against South um, against Nottingham Forest. We saw another three one against Brentford, which they, at least they managed to score. Another three one three nil against Manchester United uh, with the red card. We also see another one one with Ipswich Town and the three one against uh, Bournemouth. You can see out of the games, you can see that they faced uh, they faced really teams that are also struggling and uh, you can see that they also their rate of conceding is uh, really high because they've conceded in all these on in all these games as much as they scored so for a team that is really unstable in that manner um i'm not really expecting a lot from them because they uh, maybe it might start with Arsenal's game, which I don't expect because we see the level at which the Arsenal, play, the Arsenal boys are playing right now. So I'm not, I'm not expecting them to step up overnight and tomorrow, and tomorrow to give Arsenal a high take because but football is football. If they decide to, to wake up, Arsenal to be the wake up call for them, well and good. But they, they shouldn't have that such kind of hope because we've seen the level of at which Arsenal are playing. I think one of the one of the intriguing things I observed in the previous match against PSG is that uh, people I've, I've had people complaining about um, a PSG side that was not uh, up to the standards of the PSG. Let me tell you one thing: they're in the Champions League. They did; they had a, a chance to, to make the signings. What I saw from the Arsenal t- side is that they made PSG play right into their arms. Arsenal made the game comfortable for them. And it, it was so difficult for PSG to play in their own tactics. Because when you see we're playing at home, having a lesser possession of the 90 minutes of the ball, and they have the, the most, that means that it was just a mental game because we were getting our goals whenever we wanted them. As much as I can have arguments of, uh, still mm-hmm. my argument of Martinelli not con- not converting the goals that he's supposed to convert, I still have mm-hmm. that issue. But it's, it's, a, it's a work in progress. I believe that Arsenal is a team that played... PSG into their arms. We did not play into the PSG expectation because I think the PSG side were expecting an Arsenal attacking side. Pop, pop, the, the tiki-taka to attack all the time. We only attacked when we when we want, when we we thought it was uh, favoring our side and we, and out of those attacks, we saw the goals that were coming. You see, we, we are seeing a Trossard who's stepping up to be the the chance mm-hmm. the, the chance creating mid, uh, midfielder we want because right now we're missing Odegaard. We can see you can see the impact of Trossard in the in the in the absence of Odegaard. We are trying to make because I was impressed by the way we made PSG play into our yeah. own arms. Because if we had gone the normal PSG, because we know how PSG are good with the likes of Bacola, but the Euro, the, the UEFA Champions League out of the side, I'm expecting a very entertaining match from Arsenal. Actually, if if Southampton have a, have a sack of maize, let them empty the maize because we're gonna <laughs> make them carry the ball that. <laughs> that, right. and for the we're, 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 we're a bit short on time, so this this is good yeah, one. Yeah. So for you, for you, you're you're comfortable. Arsenal's going to get that win. Yeah, this uh, one is a win. I'm, I can yeah. say that comfortably because we are at home. We we are not, we are in a streak. We are in a oh, winning streak. Know. Yeah, we are in a winning streak. What things can bring? Let's mm. let's let's move on to uh, Wanga. Yeah. Uh, now I need you just to calm down a little bit. Don't be so. <laughs> <laughs> like, Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. Big game. yeah, <laughs> Sunday, big super game. Sunday. You're you're going to Aston Villa. You're not just going to Aston Villa. You're going to Aston Villa, who on the week during the week they had like a big, you know, nostalgia moment of remembering the old European nights in that in that yeah. stadium, and you know, winning winning against Bayern Munich one 0 That that Bayern Munich team as well, you know, no mm. pushovers that good quality. Man United. Well, if you're traveling there on Sunday. Tell 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 us tell us. Do you do you expect anything from this game? Yeah, I I think uh, I wouldn't expect much going into this game, but uh, we have to give credit to Aston Villa. We see we've seen, uh, we see what they did against Bayern Munich, who are the powerhouse of European football. Uh, getting that one nil uh, against a side that has you know Harry Kane, Mikel Olisa. You've seen this Bayern Munich side. Uh, beating teams by a margin yeah, of yeah, nine yeah. goals to two. Uh, I think uh, this Aston Villa side are a team currently on fire. We've seen the confidence that Unai Emery has instilled in these players. We've seen the work rate of, uh, you know, Oli Watkins. Even if he's not scoring the goals, you know, he's able to hold that ball well and, you know, he's able to 
disturb these defenses. Joe Durham, a superb uh, sub off the bench. We, we are his, the current top scorer for Austin Villa. You can imagine being a top scorer and you never start the matches. So I think going into this match, Man United are, you know, having a shaky start. Uh, managing to, you know, lose the 2 0 lead against FC Porto. That was, you know, another problem. Yeah. And Eric Hag, a coach, aren't, uh, a coach who is currently under fire, we've seen he was asked the other day whether he's, you know, under pressure and he said he's confident. But clearly, Man United are struggling defensively. We've seen what they, they, they did, the kind of goals they considered against a Porto side. So against uh, Aston Villa, a team that is currently on fire, the kind of strikers they have, and the, their midfielders who are able to tear the midfielders apart. We've seen Morgan Rogers who is in that particular midfield. So I think it will be a particular tough match for Manchester United. But as a fan, you know, I'm hopeful. You're not expecting. You're not expecting anything. I'm expecting. Game, so. I mean, you, when you see another positive thing is when you look at the way Manchester United played yeah. yesterday. Marcus Rashford was electric, and we've seen you know a glimpse yeah. of you know the Marcus Rashford that scored uh, 30 goals in the other season, and you know Hoyland coming back from injury and scoring uh, that his first goal of the season. So I think there are players who you know are confident going into this particular match, and uh, yeah, they awesome. might you know surprise. And Manchester United always tend to perform when there's pressure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Good luck with that one. I'll uh, see how that goes for you on on Sunday, Steve. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Steve, just, just to just to move it move it along. Let's go. Um, I mean, that's that one. We're still in a very short on time. So, okay. Then we got after that we got Chelsea. Chelsea at home to Nottingham Forest. Um, you know, Chelsea look like they're a bit on form at the moment. Cole Palmer shooting all cylinders, but we know what Nottingham Forest can do. They went to Anfield. Uh-huh. They're definitely not going to be worried about going to Stamford Bridge. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, I can agree with you that uh, uh, from, the, from the from the if I was a, if I was a Nottingham player and uh, the manager, uh, I think having uh, beaten also a team that is right now on the top of the of the of the league that is Liverpool, I don't think uh, there is anything that could be stopping me. The, my, my my winning mentality should not be should not be uh, a, a, an issue of uh, misjudgment. My judgment is 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 very clear. I can see clearly that if I can be a team that is on top of the league right now, then what is, and I'm talking as a, as a manager, looking at just trying to put myself in the shoes of a manager and a, as a player of Nottingham Forest, if I can be a team that is on the top of the table, then I think the rest who are on, the, on that table <laughs> from the top, the others that follow from two, three, four, there are people I can beat, you see? That kind of, if, you, if, we, if I use that kind of mentality going into a yeah. game like that, then I think... Uh, it's something that should give me confidence, but I should not get it over my head because we can look at how Chelsea are playing at the same time. You see, Chelsea right now on fire. They feel like this is our time. We, this is what we've been lacking. The, the chemistry that we've been saying that we have lots of players in different positions. We have options. We have uh, we have options from uh, the centre back, from the right back to the striking. This is our time because I think it is one thing that is also uh, a good thing about Chelsea right now. They have the confidence. They've been having good games. They've been having good goals. Actually, a good margin of uh, a good margin in the scoreline. So I think uh, it's a good thing that Nottingham Forest is not an easy side because we have the, we have the facts and the statistics from the previous matches. Mm-hmm. And also Chelsea, another side that is really getting back is, is really getting back to its feet, its winning ways with a big margin. So I yeah. would expect a good uh, game against the two. And uh, actually, this this game. Uh, I'm afraid to say this as a North Londoner <laughs> is that I think Chelsea is going to be the best part of this uh, of this matchup because uh, I think they have they have they, they're more hungry than Nottingham Forest are because Chelsea want to be in that in that gap of the top four because I, I believe the top four race has already started as early as now because they don't right now anybody in the top four if you see Liverpool on the top then Chelsea City second Arsenal third. Then you get all the way to Chelsea and coming down. Then I think that top four race has already that that ship has sailed. It's a matter of now maintaining there because the moment you drop from there, it's going to be a battle because the people who are fifth to eighth, there it's another it's another it's another struggle. So I'm expecting a good game from Chelsea. And now actually, I'm just saying as 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 the things are, I'm expecting a win from. Uh, from Chelsea, and I'm expecting a very good performance from uh, specifically Jordan Sancho, because he's been. Uh, it will be his third game starting not from yeah. the bench, 
So I, I'm expecting him to have already uh, blended with me. So the person I'm, I'm, I'm expecting maybe to be man of the match or impactful in the match, I'm looking forward to look uh, to to see uh, Jordan Sancho play that game. Yeah, it will not be a story. Chelsea mm-hmm. finishing in the top four with Jordan Sancho and Man United. <laughs> somewhere, somewhere hanging around. Really with <laughs> All right. Uh, I think, guys, just to remind you, please subscribe. You're making this channel grow. A lot of people watch the video, but they just go by it. Please subscribe. Uh, Wanga, give you the last word there just before we close. Mm. What so the standout game for you this weekend, and what are you going to be looking forward to? Uh, I think, uh, Abdi, the standout game for me this weekend is Manchester United traveling away to Villa Park. You know, Manchester yeah. United having a coach who is under pressure, uh, Eric Ten Hag, the coach is currently under pressure, he needs results, the boys need a response, and They'll be facing uh, Aston Villa aside who are confident after beating uh, the European powerhouse Bayern Munich 1-0. I think uh, this would be an interesting match. And Aston Villa, you know, they have a good ta- attacking side. Uh, Joe Durham, who is scoring for fun, Oli Watkins. And when you look at this Manchester United defense, it's shaky. So I think this game will be interesting and it will be a game of goals. But I'm hoping, you know, Manchester United manage to get a win. Yeah. But also, let's, let's hope, let's hope. <laughs> big hope for you on that one. I don't see anything happening apart from a big fluke or some red card for Aston Villa. <laughs> but then, uh, right now, uh, there's, there's there's a lot mm. of big odds on Bruno Fernand. Yeah, another red card, maybe. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Much to the rose. Guys, Wanga, Steve, always yeah. a pleasure. Guess always we'll a pleasure. Be tomorrow. See what the games bring. If our blood will be boiling or we're going to be excited. <laughs> Yeah. Actually, funny enough, funny enough. I know we don't have time, but funny enough, if there's a match I'm looking forward to see this weekend, yeah. Yeah. it's the Manchester City game and the Fulham t- game because actually, yeah. when you look at this Fulham side, they beat mm-hmm. Newcastle, who have, Newcastle who have drawn against Man City, and uh, yeah. also Fulham have beat Nottingham Forest. Nottingham Forest who have beaten Liverpool. <laughs> Liverpool. <laughs> so actually, it's it's a match. I'm, I really want to see the dynamics of that match because. Yeah. It's interesting. <laughs> I don't uh, my 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 game as no yes it's another one because of, as a fan but my game of interest is this Fulham side that has beaten has beaten a team that has drawn with Manchester City and a team that has uh, beat, it has beat a team that has beat Liverpool. So that's what yeah. I expect from this weekend. Thank you very much for having me. Yeah, we're we're gonna see, but you know, going going to Etihad, wherever you did previous game doesn't matter. We go to Etihad, you go to Etihad. All right, guys, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much.